good afternoon from Patea Beach. Um, man, God. I had a late one last night. Jesus Christ. Um, a, a very good, a very good night, but a very late night. Man, oh my God, my freaking head was spiraling when I woke up. Hungry. Need food. Need water. I've got water in my bag now, but. Oh man, it is a fucking, it is a beautiful day here in Patea. Uh, basically, clear blue skies. Actually, there was a lot of clouds over there. The way the beach is, it's clear blue skies. It's like 32, 33 degrees. Beautiful, beautiful day. Um, I've like woken up so late, I have no idea what I'm gonna do today, but I uh, think I'm gonna take it easy today. <laughs> like I tried to do towards the end of the night, last night, but didn't. Um, so yeah, when I do go out tonight, I think I'm just gonna sort of, I'm just gonna drink water <laughs> or, so, or something like that. Cause man, that was a, it was a phenomenal night, very memorable night, but a bit too much. Just gone back from a awesome lunch. Um, I think today, what I've decided, I'm going to go down all the way to Na Chom Tien, just to kind of explore those sorts of areas a little bit. And, um, yeah, and as well as enjoy this beautiful weather. Just come down to John Tien Beach. Um, man, you can really feel the heat out here. But you get a lot of wind out here, which is great because that actually makes it feel a bit more cooler. Um, yeah, guys, I've never been to John Tien. There's so many nice hotels along here. Like, you got the big ones behind me, as you can see. I mean, they're obviously like really, really nice, but even some of the ones that are like, Lower down, so many nice hotels along here. Jesus Christ, that scared me. <laughs> um, also, also, some really, really lovely restaurants as well with great view. Um, I think the part that I'm at now is actually called uh, Na Chom Tien, or that might be a little bit further ahead of me. Na Chom Tien, but yeah, Chom Tien, Na Chom Tien, this sort of area, and uh. I'm at the part of the beach where <laughs> there's like no beach chairs and almost no one. So like I'm, I'm away from all the uh, touristy spots. And, um, yeah, the, the, the water here is just so beautiful. The sand's lovely. It feels kind of almost, well not completely untouched, but like untouchy-ish. Man, it's... Makes you wonder where in the world I had, you actually are when you're here. Okay, so I literally have no clue where the hell I am right now, but yeah, I'm just, I'm just wandering, I'm just exploring. Um, I've, I've been, um, never been anywhere near here ever before, as I said. 
but um, I'm just kind of <laughs> along for the ride. It's because I woke up so late, I just didn't really want to go anywhere, but here I am in the, in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> quite far away from my hotel. Uh, so I, the, the things I say in the morning, I, I just never end up actually doing. That's kind of how it goes, isn't it? Like, <laughs> anytime I plan something, it just never goes the way I wanted it to. And sometimes something completely different just ends up happening. But <laughs> you now here I enjoy it because I just enjoy the scenery, enjoy the day life. I mean, my thoughts about getting home are well, get back to my hotel <laughs> just kind of worry me because I'm just, I'm just so far out. But I'll um I'll find a way to make it work. <laughs> So, a little something that's on my mind right now is something that gets swept um, really far under the rug when when people talk about and think about Patea. Like, when people come here, anyone just kind of thinks about the nightlife and the drinking, but guys, there is so, so much more to nightlife um, that's out here. Like, literally, uh, I, I don't know how, the day life, if you want to call it the day life. The day life here is just so swept under the rug and it it blows my mind because this place is so goddamn there is so many things to do even even in Patea alone I mean other places in Thailand are probably better to be fair but even in Patea alone there is so many things you've got the sanctuary of truth uh, the underwater world there's a zoo just not far out um, Patea there's a tiger park there's just we've got the big butter there's so many things to actually see and even here, just wandering around this random street in Narjong Tien, this is just crazy to me. So I got sweat dripping off me and it's kind of running into my eyes. It's making me just lose focus. But it, it blows my mind how swept under the rug the whole day life thing here, here is. And man, this is this thing all people really think about is just like, oh, the, you know, the bars, the girls, go go bars walking street you name it don't get me wrong i i love that side of it too as well but it's, i do see a lot of people just sort of like you know day drinking as well in bars which i don't know wrong, it's fine but people will sit there like for hours i now i know now i know the sun does get a bit too much but you know you, you can always find some shade uh, in a restaurant or maybe at a bar for a quick drink or one of them places where you can get like a smoothie or something like that so there's plenty of shade to be found um, in and around the beach areas and almost anywhere but man it just it boggles my mind how the sort of day-to-day -day things that you can do here is just so swept under the rug Really starting to get the feeling I'm not supposed to be here, but <laughs> I don't know, illegal freedom or something like that. Okay, so I am now completely lost. <laughs> I've just come down this dirt road place. I don't even know if I can, if it is a way out. I feel like something or someone's just gonna jump out of me right here. But um, <laughs> if I don't make it out alive, mum, I love you. Really nervous now. Okay, so I 
I made it back from my little cruise around the middle of nowhere. A uh, lot of fun, a little bit scary at one point, but I'm here for the thrills. Um, look at my GoPro is actually about to run out of battery, it's very low again. So um, I had to, now that that's happened, I probably actually need to go back to my hotel and charge it. But um, I think I'm just going to stick around here just a little bit more. Uh, use what's left of the GoPro for any cool things I find. Yeah, I'm just going to continue to soak up the sun because you can't exactly get this in the UK. Especially not in the month of uh, February. Man, in my country. Oh. says 10 degrees rainy well little drizzle rain dark clouds over here night and day difference Okay, the camera is not quite doing it justice, but we have had a really, really beautiful sunset today. Like from, from start to finish, from early on to the end of it. This is kind of the end of the sunset now. It has been an incredible sunset today. So I was having, a, I was having dinner right on Beach Road. I mean, I'm still on John Tien Beach. Having a nice dinner on John Tien Beach Road and just watching the sunset. It has been amazing. Just come down here, had a sunset beer. And um, yeah, I'm sort of admiring the last uh, last few minutes of the sunset. It is amazing, honestly. I've had a really good day today as well. Like, <laughs> I, I got out uh, really late, but um, wandering around, just lying on the beach, listening to music. I was happy, <laughs> all on my own, completely happy. Yeah. Uh, I, I tried to capture this with my phone, but it, it came out really blue. So I know damn well the camera's not doing this justice. It is so good. You've got to get out here and see these sunsets. They are fucking beautiful. Anyway, I'm um, going to wrap it up here. Um, going to get a bolt back to my hotel and then um, I'm going to go find a... I think I'm going to go to a rock station in uh, Treetown. Um, <laughs> rock out for the rest of the night. Take care, guys.